No danger. Tonight on Black's Magic. They got in, they got the statue, they got out. All in 16 minutes. I'm certainly not trying to take credit. Health Inspector, Mr. Tazi. Don't see. Whatever. I've got good news and I've got bad news. First, the priceless 10-ton marble sculpture is taken for ransom. Then someone kills my ship steward. Someone's on the ship. between countries which is unique in the arts. In this instance, between Italy and the United States. Now the police cars, motorcycles, limousine, and the truck and trailer carrying the actual statue are approaching. Coming closer, closer, and now are rolling to a stop outside the Manhattan Renaissance Museum. This is an historic moment for New York City. We are witnessing the arrival of one of the world's great treasures. The Vigil of the Shepherds. The sculptor, Leon Cavallo, is said to be the best-known protege of Michelangelo. This traveling exhibition was arranged by Italy's Deputy Director of Cultural Affairs, Mr. Eduardo Tozzi, who's accompanying this great masterpiece on its world tour. And it is Tozzi, the official entrusted with the security, the safety of the statue, who is the focus of considerable attention today because of a rumored threat to steal this invaluable work of art. An anonymous caller fortunately alerted this reporter to an apparent threat to kidnap. Now this was by an unidentified faction here to kidnap the vigil of the shepherds while it is here in New York City. You can be certain that this reporter and this station will be bringing you the very latest updates on the vigil of the shepherds. Smile, Mr. Cameron. It's your big day. We got it, we got it. My country receives countless requests every year for loans of expression. This is supposed to be a private reception. How'd TV people get in? No, oh, never mind. I'll get the word to Cameron. <laughs> we have finally come to an agreement. Which brings this priceless work of art to your country. An achievement for you, and an honor for us. <laughs> so you see, my friends, this is not an accomplishment only of one person, <laughs> as much as I would like to perpetuate that lovely myth. <laughs> no, much of the credit must go to those who share this golden moment with me. Mr. David Cameron, <laughs> Mr. Edgar Van Walter, the members of the board, Mrs. Roland Pace, Mr. Carter Charlton, and this is Morton. That whole crowd of TV people out there. Here, at the front desk, Without the camera. Without the efforts of these people, this evening would not be possible. <laughs> and now, with Mr. Cameron's permission, we will complete what we came here this evening to accomplish. The unveiling of Vigil of the Shepherds. Mr. Totsi, uh -huh. on behalf of the Manhattan Renaissance Museum, I gratefully accept the cherished loan by the Italian Ministry of cultural affairs of this tremendous masterpiece. Mr. Cameron, please. Mr. Cameron, excuse me. Mr. Cameron, 
I'd like a comment on this rumored threat to this statue. Mr. Cameron, can you tell us what precautions you're taking? What's the security situation here now? Oh, Signore, I assure you, the museum and Mr. Maguire, the head of security, have guaranteed me that nothing will be left to chance. The precautions are ultimo, ultimate, complete. So you're satisfied the statue is in absolutely no danger? Well, one does what one can, then one prays. Besides, it weighs ten tons. <laughs> Hello. Here? Uh... Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Pop? You've been nagging me for three years to come live with you. Well, you got your wish, son. And don't believe a word those people at the retirement home tell you. Packer liars! Reminds me of the top of the town restaurant in Enid, Oklahoma. <laughs> uh, son, you always this alert? Uh, well, you, uh, you caught me, uh... uh good to see you, Bob. So, where's my room? Uh, right, right up the stairs. Got its own bathroom, does it? Uh, sure does. <laughs> Got you spooked, has it? <laughs> nah, she's all quiet here. Your average don't dog watch. Morty's out on clock rounds. Me, I'm just sitting it out. Sure, I'll catch you later, Ben. Pop, you, you were doing so great up there. Great? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad to see you. Glad you're gonna stay, but I thought you were so happy up there with all your friends at the home, Mr. De Summers, Mrs. Rabinowitz, Rosie. Rosie? Huh! Something happened there, Pop? You could say that. Blew my lottery is all. Stirred up everybody is all. Whoa, whoa, what kind of lottery? Oh, just, uh, just your average, uh, old folks lottery. Pop! This room's bigger. Pop. It's got TV. Hey, look at that. I'll, I'll get you one, Pop. Old folks lottery? Bigger bathroom, too. Whirlpool tub! You can use it any time you want. What's in there? Pop. This room's even got its own gym. Pop. Lottery. Old folks lottery. You know how it is with old folks. Got mortality on the brain. All some of them talk about. Obituaries. I just sort of started sort of a lottery along that line. You ran a lottery? Based on who was going to be the first to... It was going fine, too, until Rosie came across me in the nurse's files. Nurse's files? Boy, this will be great for the old biceps. What has set you back? What were you doing in the nurse's files? Going through the medical charts. What else? Wouldn't pay to leave a lottery to chance, would it? Anyway, Rosie went and blabbed, and 
The geritol hit the fan. And then?